Hey everyone, welcome to another exciting episode of The Dinosaur and the Dude, the only podcast with the shittiest audio but the most amazing content. Thank you all for uh, tuning in to listen wherever you are and however you're accessing us. We appreciate your time and we appreciate your interest in us. So sit back, relax, or if you're driving, enjoy the ride as you listen to another amazing episode. Hey guys, this is the dinosaur from the dinosaur and the dude. I just wanted to take a minute to say thank you for tuning in and for putting up with us. We know that we are a lot to handle. So uh, we appreciate you sticking it out with us. Um, if you want to reach out to me, you can reach out uh, on the website, which is the dinosaur and the dude.com. You were also all over socials. We are hoeing ourselves out proper on socials. So um, just come and find us and say hi. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. Then to Ta-da! me, if, if carrots are edible dildos. <laughs> Gross. Uh, little root thingies hanging off of them. Yeah. Rotor it's for pleasure. Thing. It's for pleasure and your vitamins. Nutrition. Yes. Like, <laughs> and that's enjoy, important. Like enjoy your vegetables at a whole different level. Wow, look at that. So, it, so is that the is that the little rice? Is that the like the little I'm looking at the picture now. Is that the yeah, little so Laura brought me um chai tea last time that we were on pod. Yeah. Right. And this time she brought me chai tea, but uh, she also brought a snack assortment, <laughs> which yeah, is going to be kind of crunchy. That's the uh, best way I could have called it too—a snack assortment. Yeah, it's um, it's either this, that or you're like, flying somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I'm on a plane. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's me flying private. Um, yeah, sesame sticks. Shit. And mm-hmm. she brought me this. Uh, it's like a trail mix, so it's got red uh, like regular red raisins and um uh, the, the the cranberries and stuff in it a little crazy cranberries and the, yeah and the almonds and walnuts and papitas i love those oh yeah the papitas those are elusive motherfuckers you like i'm always trying to figure out what they're it's like well they're kind of like oh, they're kind of like sunflower seeds but better the bigger but not but like pumpkin bigger. seeds Huh? Apparently it's a pumpkin seed, but pumpkin seeds in my world are huge. Maybe it's a yeah. certain type of pumpkin. Yeah, I was trying to figure that out. And I was just like, mm, I think they're pumpkins, but I don't think they're pumpkins. I thought I might have misread that. I don't know. Somebody, I was explaining and somebody was like, I tell you what, if you're not going to eat them though, I will. So you can just slide them to the side if you want. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. I really don't care. I really don't care. Packing your I really don't care. For you. Yeah, I really don't care what they are. I, I, you know, like the only reason why I don't drink, drink Kofi Luak is because it costs too damn much. But other than that. Drink what? Kofi Luak. Yeah, see, exactly. Because that is so fancy that I don't even know what you said. Oh, yeah. Um, so. Is that Cafe Olay? Kofi, no. So okay. Kofi, Kofi Luak. <laughs> is um i'm so glad we're recording right now (laughs) get the get the raw uh get the raw excitement of our lives (laughs) yeah so goofy lack is known as uh civet coffee and yes everyone i am reading directly off of wikipedia right now so you can look it up yourself because it's fucking free um and so it's a coffee okay it's coffee that's that's partially digested cherries and and they are who yeah the the civets so the who the civets yeah so they they were eaten and 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 defecated by the asian palm civet which is kind of like a it's like a Mm -mm. i bet you it ain't (laughs) it ain't yeah, one of the that, be, that is not fucking one of them. Really? Oh, yeah. Civets are like little fucking beetles. I, I, um, I no, they are. Uh, here, I'll return the favor. I'll return. Oh my god! The, How the motherfucking ooh. favor? So, is there any, any other animal that we eat their shit? Um. 
I mean, I'm sure that there's. I don't know, but that's that's totally worth discussing. <laughs> but any, that's got nothing but, but any, good vibes on it. No, 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 absolutely. Because see, those things that I just sent you a picture of peeping at you. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. So it eats these cherries, oh, that's right? That's a mammal. Yeah. I'll continue. It mm. eats them. That's, that's the Asian palm civet, right? And so the cherries are fermented and and uh, as they pass through the civet's intestines and after mm -mm. being defecated with other fecal matter, mm -mm. they're they're collected. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And and the uh, it's a you know, humans being the way they are, somehow, some way, someone thought that looks I good. Can, I, I'm can take those eat that. I can take those lemons and make some lemonade. And in this case, <laughs> I can take these digested fermented cherries and make some coffee out of it. And so Kopi Luwak. Marketing plan. Yeah, Kopi Luwak is produced mainly in Indonesia, uh, Indonesian islands of Sumatra, Java, Bali, and, and the like. And so they back when i was going to a uh, coffee retailer a coffee maker and they they made coffee from the is beans it a from famous the one in america huh? is it a uh, famous no coffee? no it was in it was in um it was in dallas i don't know where they are now uh they, they might have gone out of business <laughs> vagabonds <laughs> just well just i mean they were world. very yeah, they were like super small. So I don't know if they're still in business now after COVID. Um, but Kofi Luak was going for $50 a pound. Uh -uh. For poop? For coffee. They make the coffee. So they dig the cherry. They dig those 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 uh, cherries out of the poop and they make the coffee from it. What a because shitty fucking job. Yeah, exactly. And it's been, because it's been processed and heated, roasted, if you will, going through the intestines. <laughs> Disgusting. And, and so people somehow, somehow, some way, someone's like, you know what? I bet I can make, I bet that would be a good ass coffee. And so they did it. <laughs> and then it, and then the other thing that came in, a, in their head is, you know who buy the fuck out of this good ass coffee? Americans, Americans, they they Europeans, eat, and Americans. Eat anything they eat red dye, and they if eat we, all these preservatives. <laughs> we spin it just right. It will be amazing. Well, we can't call it civet shit coffee. No, we won't. We'll call it Kopi Luwak. What the fuck is that? Just run with it, and yeah, that's what and they the did. Marketing logo is going to be we recycle, <laughs> and that's what they did. And it was like on average, we be going about like fifty dollars. Low yeah. was going to be $50 a pound. It was like a hundred bucks a pound of I this. I think that's the first cup of coffee. I would say, I'm good. I don't, I don't want any. I'm, I'm a changed woman now. <laughs> what also happened with this is that people started capturing these civets. <gasps> oh, poor babies. Basically. It looks like, like a little you, koala, kind of. Yeah. Basically, like you do chickens and cows and whatnot, <laughs> and take them, yeah, and start producing the coffee on their own. They're like, okay, if we see. got them, we well, just yeah, feed them all these. Cow. I mean, a cash souvet or whatever you call it. Yeah, we feed them these cherries. We could make our coffee all day. Like, yeah, this is we just get the get the new guy gets all the the poop scooping. Let's do it <laughs> because you got to separate you got to separate the cherries from all the other food they eat you know so some bitches in the dark like with a light with a headlamp on sifting, trying to yeah sifting through shit that's just that's yeah. gross that's which the by the way is. everyone if you didn't know please understand you're listening to the dinosaur and the dude Thank the you. only podcast with the most amazing content <laughs> and the shittiest audio and why did i say that in reverse just so we can have one episode that we give like, hey, does anybody know the one that we said it in reverse? So about, about when we get to 60 episodes, we'll see if somebody can figure out when the one time Shut your face up because we, I was, earlier I was like, we're, we probably have more, we probably have more good audio now than bad audio. Um, I don't know. I mean, I hate like to do 
we were still we were still doing we still had bad audio in our 420 episode well and i was why. Episode, and that was episode 20 fucking blasted <laughs> yeah that was episode 24. it wasn't it was 24. why couldn't it have been yeah. 420. It, it it was the 420 episode which happened four, to be yeah, our episode? 24th episode was the 420 episode it's I'm, I'm gonna get i'm gonna do bong rips on them <laughs> and and we i know we had some more after that so okay. i think we're i think we're still good okay but in and any case my mind about the intro yeah in, in, in okay. any case that that is what you're listening to it's the dinosaur mm-hmm, mm-hmm. to it's, it's the only podcast with the shittiest audio, but the most amazing content. But we're going to continue saying that because it, because that's that's everywhere now. It's it's on our YouTube <laughs> it's channel. Time to go and change it. It's, it's on our YouTube channel, our Facebook, our Twitter, our Instagram, and I'm saying all that because we really would like for you all to subscribe, follow, like, friend, and all the other shit that lets us know that you're listening and love us. Please Anytime stay. we put out a tweet, just just hit the heart. I mean, honestly, you don't even have to read it. Just hit the heart and, re- <laughs> and, re- and read tweet. That's if what you, you gotta solid, do. If you want to be a solid patron, then what you could do is you could hit that bell button so it automatically notifies you. And then you don't even have to pay attention to what we say. You could yeah. just hit the notification and hit the heart button and then deuce yeah. out of that. Like yeah. that's all when we need. You don't ask when, for the whole yeah. lot. Yeah. When you're on YouTube, just subscribe. And then thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Just go through all the shorts. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs thumb, 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 thumb. And then go back through and listen to it because they're a fucking minute long. So, you know, while you're shitting, right. just listen to our shorts. Or, you That's know, more time. That's all you got to do. It'll help the shit come out better because, you know, we'll no. make you laugh and that'll make you clench a little and it pushes mm-hmm. it out easier. It's We're so good for better. the core. We're good for yeah. Your core is gonna get your core is gonna get tighter. You're gonna get you're gonna abs. Be fucking ripped. You're gonna you get abs. To you're gonna be stunt doubling for for <laughs> Cal Gadot, Cal Gadot and Chris Hemsworth at the same time. You're gonna be so <laughs> badass. Okay. All right. So, so bef- um, before yeah. all that, what mm-hmm. you were about to were you about no, to do the final? No, go on ahead because I have no. Where we? No, no go where ahead. Are we gonna? No. You, I'm out. Do it. Okay, fine. Before we go any further, because now people are probably going to be saying, hey, you told me you were, I was going to get Crimson Susan Forth and Gal Gadot abs. Here's the fine print. Wait, um, no, you can't do that just yet because you didn't introduce me. This is the reverse intro. God. Fucking hell. Okay, so let me give you the fine print. I'm sorry. I was fucking with your game. No, we can do it now. Because everybody's expecting it. <laughs> Everyone, no, for real though, I, I shouldn't reverse it. I should never skip over the one and only, the dinosaur. You're sweet. That's me. And I'm the fuck about the dude. <laughs> and um, <laughs> the dinosaur is always on top of it, and I'm getting thirsty. So at this time, she will tell you all the ins and outs in regards to the fine print, and I will crack open a Canada Dry ginger ale, the only one that I drink during the week, by the way, because I only drink (laughs) it during our podcast. Take it away. Yeah, I don't have any, I don't have any until I, yeah, I don't, I don't, I told you I drink mainly water and then coffee in the morning. So water and coffee for me as well. That's the only things that I drink. Um, Thank you for the handoff, by the way. But in, right now, I'm enjoying some chai tea that was delivered to me um, mm. by my wife because she mm. knows what I like. You know what I mean? And then um, she also gave me a little snack assortment, so I'm good to go. <clears throat> but Action snacks. Um, I don't know. I don't know everything. I, I mean, I, mm. I study the fine print a lot um, to try to make make it better, but um, it is what it is. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so... Um, I just wanted to to say d- don't put too much faith in the- <laughs> that because um you're setting me up for failure. <laughs> oh shit. Fine. Uh, um, but anyway, just to cover all bases, we we love doing this podcast, but you you have to understand that we don't know shit and 
we don't know shit so much that we would really prefer that if you were under 18 years old that you just don't listen to us because your brains aren't ready for the fuckery <laughs> that we go just spreading about so yeah. um it's like landmines and you're gonna get hurt if you listen to us if you're under 18. um it'll happen your brain will start hurting yeah. and we're not liable for that right so but really though we we really don't know shit. i mean we're just yeah. two friends lipping at the jaw and having a good fucking just a good fucking time because we yeah. love each other and we want y'all to be a part of it too because we think that our relationship is awesome and yeah. we'd love for you to be part of it yeah, so, um, everything that we say is just our opinion we're not trying to offend anybody mm -hmm. but we're probably going to at some point and if we do we're sorry we don't mean to be malicious yeah Okay. but we're a lot we're a lot for people sometimes and that's okay if this isn't for you then thank you for getting this far and have a good podcasting experience elsewhere but if it is for you thanks for being a fucking weirdo and welcome to the shit show that's what that's what it's all about you know i thought about the fine print and um i don't know if it's just me or you know because no, no, take it back. I know it's me. Um, <laughs> I, no, no, I maybe know it's, mm -hmm. yeah, maybe it's just me, and I because I, I, I kind of get an enjoyment out of corrupting people. <laughs> but man, if you if you are listening to us and you're eighteen or twelve, we really can't stop you. We just say that so that. Everybody knows we're going to talk about stuff and it's going to come from our perspective and we're really not having in mind, oh no, somebody underage might be hearing what we're saying. And Right. We are oh, highly man. inappropriate. We understand that and welcome it. And, and if you're there under the covers with your <laughs> little flashlight, <laughs> little, 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 little pods in your ear and whatnot listening because this is the most deviant thing you can do it's like oh listen to the dinosaur to do it they're gonna be talking google boobs okay i can't google boobs i can't really um say i'm sorry if it gets if we diverge yeah. into a topic about anal and you we don't know what that is that, okay and then here you go so you about to fuck out and find it or fuck around and find we it don't. yeah because like look yeah. It's only so much we can do. <laughs> it's yeah, only so right. much. It's only so much. We all, can do. Honestly, I mean, if I'm being completely honest, there's a, there's only so many shits we're going to give because we can't be yeah. sensitive to every single person on the planet. Right. We can certainly nah. try and have and good intentions, of course. Right. But we're just two people talking. So now, if you're a parent and a and or guardian that happens to find little tommy or little jane listening whip that person's ass whip his ass yeah. whip, it, whip her well, ass well but before all that listening okay. in some fashion because you know right. we're on spotify you could go and like and subscribe yeah we're on spotify <laughs> we're we're on audible we're on amazon mm. uh we're on google podcast cast box we are uh have segments on youtube you, you you're gonna you're gonna come across this and however they're listening to us know that okay we, while we might be corrupting their little brain in some case we are doing it with a matter of perspective and content as in the context in the content is 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 a lot more than what they would get maybe in school where little ricky is just saying titties because he thinks titties is a cool word we're at least talking about some relevant stuff that's related to titties for sure we have the internet and we are not afraid to use it right so there you go um i just caboosed your no i i like print. a little it yeah like you a like little, that a little red a little light on the tail tap on the butt you know you know yeah. the sports yeah. tap is like no homo you know but yeah, still right. there you go it's just so weird <laughs> <laughs> and then that's totally fine but you know somebody of course comes out as gay and they're like oh don't touch me right <laughs> <I'm offended. laughs> they, they became gay by listening to the dinosaur and the dude if that happens 
you're welcome. Because guess what else we don't do for your kiddos? We don't give them drugs. So these oh, are just yeah. words they, and a yeah. fucked up sense of humor. Yeah, oh. there it is. There's that. There's a lot more happening in schools that's worse than us. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> Fucking hell. So, um, yeah, this is a freeballing uh, episode. I wanted to also. A free ball. Ball. <laughs> yeah. Free balling and free ovaries episode. Hey, how um, did you know I was wearing pants? Yeah. Hey, what a minute. <laughs> Uh, let me look at that picture I sent him. Was the camera too low? <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo. Yeah. So it came to mind real quick, real quick, because some people have noticed some things in, in how, like, so, so many people are visual, visually, um, they're visually geared right now. And I don't know if it's don't talk that about I'm, my year. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if it's something that I've like I'm just keying in on because I'm overthinking it or what. And so I was just gonna bounce it off you and see what you thought about it in relation to the definition of podcast. Um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We're kind of old school with our podcast in a sense. One, we're doing it based off of just our phone calls and us having conversations and then allowing people to listen in. That's pretty much the 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 basic structure foundation of, of it. Well, but we've grown but in it because we were doing it only by telephone and recording those calls. Well, right. One of yeah. us had a really good setup. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> but the other thing is we're solely audio. I think mm-hmm. it's interesting that some podcasts are more, I think, I think some I think podcast now the definition of it has kind of expanded where at first it was solely audio oh, sure. and, it was, and it was written it, it was uh, audio books or audio scenarios or discussing different things and facts and folklore but it was all audio and you had a sort of a theater of the mind kind of thing where sound effects and whatnot was playing in the background or recordings and da, 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 da. now it's kind of got this little Charlie Rose kind of flair to it, where it's an interview of sorts instead of just people talking shit. It's like a and, TV talk show almost. Yeah. And it's and kind of. Podcasts are usually audio, and now people do them, they record them like one of the greats, Joe Rogan, in podcasting. Well, right. And, and that's, that's his. Yeah. And so that's the thing I was wondering is like when Rogan started his, it, it was taking it a. He didn't, I don't even think he called it a podcast. Or maybe he did. I, I don't re- quite remember. I think somebody floated podcast, the, the, the term and, and doing it like that. It's podcasting. It was like, what the fuck? I don't know. Okay, I'll try it. Um, I think, though, then people looked at that template and said, yeah, podcast and went with that because there's so many of them out there that do these little interviews, one-on-ones, group settings, and it's all video. I don't necessarily consider those podcasts i know they're called podcasts i don't really consider them that so okay i just looked it up and i'm gonna say i think that you're right because according to wikipedia the and i quote the term was first used in the audio blogging community the term podcast Mm -hmm. was used in the audio blogging community in september 2004 Mm -hmm. when danny gregory introduced it in a message to the iPodder dev mailing list Mm -hmm. where it was adopted by podcaster Adam Curry. Yeah. It's like podcasts is basically if you got what was going on in the radio and then you got it and you just did it for yourself, whether it was ham radio or at home uh, or, or recording yourself on the phone with people that was a podcast. And then if you added video, that's an interview, and and you were you were a show, because you're show you you you're showing this to people. So are you're we not a show? Pri- hmm? Are do are we a show now? No, I don't think. Okay. I think we're. I think, I think we stick more to the, to the, roots of podcasting. Because we don't do video and we don't interview people usually. Yeah, and interviewing is okay. I think, I think, 
I think interviewing was still something that became a part of it to a certain degree. It just wasn't the only thing that was done. Like other podcasts at this point, it, they 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 can't survive unless they have an interview. They're, they're interviewing somebody. Oh, sure, sure. And if they if they don't have anyone to interview, they literally sit on their phones and 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 will look up stuff online and then make comments about it, which is fine because we do that from we do that from time to time as well. Sure. Or some of the or some of the things we talk about come from that. But it's just interesting <laughs> to me when I'm looking at it, and it's like, okay, this broadened definition of podcast is sort of a a weird it's a weird thing for me because that's not what it is, but it is that by way of popular understanding of the term. Man, you and sound like just, a stoner right now. I sound, I sound like a stoner? Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. I think it's just me. I think it's just me overanalyzing the word. And yeah. I'll, do that. I'll do that from time to time. Really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, there's recordings okay. of me. Well, we've got a lot to analyze this this episode. I've got a list. Oh, shit. so okay. Why don't I tell list, you the things list, that I have on the list, and list you can tell me which one you want to talk about first? Okay. Well, clearly, I'm betting it wasn't civet poop coffee. So go ahead. Yeah, no, the poop coffee. I, it's mm -mm, that this the nope. little sir severe oh, or whatever oh. animal they are. They can keep it. A little marsupial um, mammal fuckers they were cute okay so i want to talk about i'm going to do an elder check i want to talk okay. about the ai um alien video oh yeah 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 and i wanted to tell you that in in um in a town over by me there is a coffee shop that i found and guess what its name is um damn ampersand oh wow <laughs> i know I was going to go in there and see if I could, like, if they had a sticker or something. Wow. Um, I'll go in there once, you know, at some point. Mm -hmm. But then I also wanted to tell you about the neurological testing that I had done this week. Mm -hmm. Because there's right. nothing more fun than talking about medical issues. Right. So um, that was, so the last, in regards to the last one, that was something that we've talked about in a previous episode of you going to to get this test done mm -hmm. so if that's your list let's see about it order of okay i'm ready either elder check and then you or you and then elder check then the alien video and uh wait you have four things right no the the other one was just a insert so mm, okay and then and then in between there we can sprinkle our seasoning yes the seasoning because in that so, way we don't end it like last episode where we ended it's kind it of on a down note huh it, yeah we ended it on elder check i mean yeah, we, came out, we came out we came out strong the elderly they need to they need to go first i mean we came out strong if we have to compare ourselves to like a porn star we came out really strong That's true. Yeah. and we were re we were showing all the tricks and then towards yeah. the end we kind of slowed down and that's well, we kind of checked out and the fleffer took over you know yeah that yeah that's really when we want to we want to we want a little valley and then we want to come up on the end and like right. really show off and ba -da, ba -da, clean up <laughs> Hard work. clean up in the room and you know and then end of the show I think like the climax. Yeah, that's what I meant. And the cleanup. And the, yeah. Oh wow. That yeah. It went over my head. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> it just depends Sorry. on which it depends on what you're watching. It, it could be a bunch of it could be just a big mess or you know <laughs> just a little fade. Yeah, it. fade and then fade to black. Um <laughs> yeah, so whichever one so whichever one. Okay, you so let's do elder first. check first. Okay. And cool. I went first last time, so you go first this time. Oh fuck. Okay. Um you still have your elders, correct? Yeah. Okay, just checking. Jeez. You're like, oh right. fuck. Like I just got rid of him today. Yeah, like, oh, by the way. Funny you ask. Um <laughs> talk about downer. Hey, uh, so 
<laughs> one of them thought they could drive today and voila, here we are uh yeah and then i pipe in the music all by myself uh so yeah i do i still have them i i okay, think good. that yeah yeah so far so good i think that <laughs> um the big the big thing for the elders at this particular point is uh kind of tying in with the last episode just getting through all the the fallout with the the drugs uh, being taken mm -hmm. because with elderly people well with people in general it takes a it takes a little while for drugs to get out of your system sure. and, and, and so each you person is different and the older that you get the the more sensitive you can become to that right and so it could take two weeks for something to get out of your system and that's across the board depending on how much you work out your diet what activities you're doing how much sleep you get all this other shit stress in your life it could take two weeks or it could take two days it, it, whatever you could burn it out of your system who knows but when you are basically in one position all day except for when you have to go to the restroom or and whatnot you it takes it takes the better part of the two weeks because you're just not sure. mobile you're not doing anything to keep your body active to even help it get out of your system quicker than it would so it's just been it's just been dealing with that kind of thing of just the residual effects of the drugs of the drug in his system and uh, trying to trying to get my mom to not be so control heavy on wanting mm. okay so if we're not taking this drug then maybe we should see about um going back to increasing the other one she's she we're not taking i'm like god fucking shit why? <laughs> Jesus Christ, no. Why not? Because it's all a lie. <laughs> it's, it's like when you start to read drugs and you start to really see what you're taking in, then it becomes a thing of like, oh, okay, so this is the same shit, just with a different name. Mm -hmm. Or this shit is really for... This shit will really jack with my blood pressure, thus make me kind of sort of loopy, uh, kind of it's a muscle relaxer or whatever. So, yeah, in a way, are you still I am, having problems with him being a sock puppet, or is he back to life? Well, he is he is back to life. It's just it's just sort of that's the that's the the perception that I'm trying to quell here is that. If you're taking a muscle relaxer, that flexibility that you're getting is just your muscles not giving a shit because you took a muscle relaxer. <laughs> it's awesome. not that it's giving you flexibility. Anybody's right. going to have that quote unquote flexibility. <laughs> They're a rag doll. Because <laughs> you have a muscle relaxer. <laughs> it's not, and so it's weird that doctors will say, it'll give you more flexibility. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. <laughs> sure. So, so. <laughs> So it's like any muscle relaxer will give you the flexibility that they're talking about. Can you use it? No, you won't be able to walk. But, <laughs> but like, can I use it if I don't want to give a shit? But no. you'll feel like you're sliding off of every surface that you touch. It's like, yeah, no, it's <laughs> slinking down to the yeah, like, yeah, <laughs> to a puddle. Oh, yeah, it's like yeah, I am so flexible. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Man, so, you're yeah, getting shit on me. Yeah, so it's just been a lot of that stuff. It's been um it's been a very interesting um it's been a very interesting just perspective looking at it, just like God, gee, it's just so weird. It's so it's just so weird because you have doctors that don't. It's almost like how people talk about how the FBI, the CIA, and the Secret Service don't talk. It's just like that in the medical community. Doctors mm -hmm. don't. Doctors don't talk to each other. Uh, if they do talk to each other, they only talk to each other through your medical charts. 
Right. And so they might not know and or read anything past sure. a, y- a year. Because they give a shit about what they're doing. Right. They want, especially if you go to a new doctor, they're going to want, like, if you go from, like, in our instance, we went from one neurologist to another neurologist. Oh, you did find like, another one? Yeah, this one that we're, no, 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 no. I'm saying the one that I was talking about last episode is the same one I'm talking about now. Okay. Shitty one. But before her, we were going to a different one who later, who basically, not basically, he fucking died. He died. And so he, uh, yeah, he, and puts yeah, things to a stop. Yeah, he died and he basically transitioned all of his patients over to this one that we're with now so that they wouldn't lose, um, you know, service in a position. And if they chose to find one on their own, they could, but he was like, hey, I'm I setting you a doctor with cancer. Um, yeah, so yeah, we, yeah. In the very beginning. Yeah, yeah said, we like, talked about him one point. One point. Yeah, uh-huh, yeah. We talked and about him. And then he just hit it from his staff he, and everything. And they're yeah, like, I'm here. Yeah. Like, yeah. He yeah. died. So, he was sick. So in case you missed it, I can't remember which episode it was on, but we had a neurologist and this dude, he had uh, cancer, knew he had it, knew he was going to, it was terminal, didn't tell his staff, didn't tell his patients, and he went and did shit nonstop through the pandemic, had virtual meetings and all the kind of, you know, checkups and all this kind of stuff. I would talk to him almost every meeting. And then one day, and nobody had any idea. Then one day he, I think his assistant did, but it was yeah. like, you talk, I'm going to, I'm going to blast your left tit off. Do not talk. And so <laughs> it was like some serious something, you know, like you better not talk. <laughs> so is Laura in there? I hope not. Because that would be, that would be I was like, Jesus, he just went for shit <laughs> off. That's, I doubt that doctor said that. And I'm like, You're right. You're right. He passed, right? So, yeah, I don't know for sure if he said that. But if I was him, I probably would have said <laughs> Definitely, that. definitely would have said that. Yeah. Or I'd have said something really, really, really heinous. Like, I'm going to put muscle relaxer in your left tit. How did you tell somebody? <laughs> what the fuck? I'm yeah. a muscle. Yeah. You ever had a dead tit? No? Okay. Well, you're going to if you tell somebody. <laughs> like a dead. I'm like, girl, what is wrong with no titty? You're right. Like, I don't know. For some reason, like, I've had my arm dead, but I'm, I don't have, you know, like, I don't know. Maybe maybe that's what a dead he tit feels like. Fast, like slaps you around. Yeah. Right, right. So in any case, this guy, uh, his, his assistant, like, just hits us up and it's like, yeah, um, He's retiring. It's like, wait, what? We just met with him. He didn't say anything. Yeah. <laughs> right. You he, tell that bitch to come back here right he, now. He's retiring. Uh, and so um, he's just, uh, yep. Yeah. And so wait, what is he doing? Oh, no, it's, it's effective immediately. You guys were his last patient. Wait, so, huh. What? All right. <laughs> he's already got another neurologist set up. So he's going to transition everybody over there. And uh, all the records are going to go there. So we'll just pick up meetings as normal with, with them. It's like, what the fuck? Why? What happened to dude? Next thing you know, two weeks later, he's dead. He took, he gave himself two weeks to just chill be, be and, him. and enjoy life. And that he was that. He gave himself a two-week period to enjoy the rest of his life. Yeah. What yeah. the fuck? Yeah. And didn't say a word. And uh, then, you know, after, after that, she contacts us. It's like, yeah, um, he passed away. I was like, wait, hold on, hold on. So dude, three weeks ago said, I'm retiring. I transferred all of you. Now, two weeks after that, you're well, saying. I mean, as a doctor, you wouldn't want to come into somebody, into the exam room and be like, hi, I'm dying. <laughs> <You know? laughs> right. I'm going to go ahead and fill this prescription because uh, I'll probably I'm give be you three dead. months. Okay. Yeah, I'll probably be dead uh, by the time you. <laughs> by like Thursday. Uh, two weeks. By the time you finish this. Okay. So I'll just go ahead and do a 60, uh, 60 day. <laughs> that way, 
And we're going to give you 30 days to find somebody else to fill the description because I'll be dead by that time. Wait, what the fuck? And I'm not probably going to care. What the fuck? Yeah. Yeah, you gave him for two weeks and then, and then uh, she had her announce that he was dead. And uh, wow. then we went to this one. It still blows I'm, my brain. This, this one that I'm sure he thought was a cool, good, reputable doctor, but... She's just, she's just not that. And it's really, it's just, it's really has, it has nothing to do with gender before it was like, oh, would you just like to, no, because trust me, there's. Because we all know that women are smarter. So that's a move point. There is a, um, his cardiologist, I'm in his, not literally boys and girls, but I'm in his ass every time that <laughs> hey, dude whoa now. oh he is just bro you, you serious because he'll say oh let's see let's take this and see what what happens no we're not going to experiment get the fuck out. dude what get right look right. doctors love to experiment on elderly so watch that mm-hmm. that doctors really love to experiment like MK ultra but mk elder it's almost like it would, be, it would be okay if it was MK Ultra ish. Honestly, this is almost like well, you don't know. Well, this is not. Nah, I mean, for, for me, it's like this is almost like okay. So so far, we've had patients do this amount. Wonder what would happen if we did three times that. Let's see. Mm, let's do it with an elderly though because um if we get if we get someone with a little bit more cognitive capacity to discern what the fuck's going on we're gonna get a lawsuit so let's get elderly and if you get elderly and if you got an elderly couple then you got them over the barrel because they're just sort they're fucking hell that's a terrible thought yeah they're they're trying to like they're at wit's end trying, trying to, to survive with each other. Right, right. Oh my God. So soon as I walk in on these meetings now, they're like, oh, hey, okay. Yeah. Like you can, real quick. Oh yeah, no. You can join. Yeah, you can join the meeting. Yeah, I thought okay. I know I can check your paperwork, and, bitch. Right. And so then it becomes a thing like my mom, she'll just go with, oh, okay. Yeah. That's what you want us to do now. Oh, okay. Okay. So take three, three right. of those like a day. My, oh. Life is literally in your hands. Oh, okay. Okay. And my dad, he doesn't give, he has no fucking input at all, you know? So right. he's just opening his mouth and jesting. So from a doctor that's really trying to push pills and experiment, He's just checking off boxes. Okay, so this exa- this happened when he took three of those? Hmm, okay. Well, let's do two instead of three, but up the two to one milligram instead of half a milligram and see what happens. No, because every time you say something and you end right. it with, <laughs> let's see what happens, I want to punch you in the taint. That's right, what I want to do. to deal with the fallout. Yeah, and, and your mom has to deal with the fallout, and you have to deal with her dealing with the fallout. Exactly, it's a, it's like a huge kind of thing that ripples out. So anyway, that's that's pretty much it. It's just staying on top of all of that. How about that yours? Sounds, that sounds terrible. <laughs> terrible. It's Very just, terrible. It is terrible. It is terrible. It's terrible. It's terrible. Terrible. Terrible is a good one. Terrible <laughs> is one that we're putting on merchandise. If you haven't already, go to. The Ooh, the and look at our merch. Our merch. We got special limited edition. Let us huh? know. If yeah. If you want yeah, something, let us know. We got limited edition merch out there. Y'all better fucking hurry up. <laughs> For sure. And I'm gonna try to do a I'm gonna try to do an umbrella. Oh really? Yeah, I want to do an umbrella. Hmm. So that whenever it opens up, it's the just the circle logo of the dinosaur. <clears throat> Amber's in. Yeah. Can we make that happen? I bet we can. <laughs> you know, they can clone babies from stem cells. So, yeah, I think that we can manage <laughs> Wait. Uh, wait. <laughs> Your comparison. <laughs> Your no, hey, comparison. I understand. 
if there's a will, oh, no, there's a way. You said all right. You said all right. You said plenty of said all right. <laughs> your, your comparison to if we can do a umbrella or not. Was that? I'm just saying. If they, better can, clone babies, <laughs> if they can clone babies, we can do. Yeah, we can do it. Better umbrella. science has been done. It's um, okay. So I I'm have. Sure we can. I'm sure we can. <laughs> we'll look into it. Um, yeah. Like, just look up L "Umbrellas Are Us" or something. I don't know. Yeah, no, nah, no, nah, no. Nah, I'm already on it now. Nah. Don't worry. <laughs> okay, better, you you inspired me. I was like, you're right. Oh, we are cloning babies. Let me see. <laughs> this is bullshit. I can do stuff too. What? <laughs> she is correct. <laughs> we are not gonna let umbrellas hold us back. So yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Your 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 elder uh so my elder your, your adventures. Um this she's she's doing good. She's doing yeah. I think okay. that mentally she's starting to come down a little bit, but I think okay. she is in a much healthier position now than she was before. But I do okay. think that something happened with her brain when she was found in her car and she was 106 degrees. Yeah. Yeah. Um, because she's, she can't get things done. Like she told me, uh, she told me this week that it's, it's hard to like even balance her checkbook. And I was just like, wait, what? Like who balances her fucking checkbook? <laughs> I was like, yeah, that sounds hard. Like, hardly it does so. I don't should, know that I can do it. something you should be doing. Why, why the My hell are you? Has Let's, start the penny. Let's start you at understand? the beginning. Let's start at the beginning. Why the fuck are you doing that still? Right, exactly. I can't talk. I can't talk. Like, I've been, I've been um, looking for this. I'm off by 12 cents and I got to find it. I got to find oh, it. No. I'm like, what are you the fucking, what are you? Are you I the can't IRS? Talk. Yeah. My, my mom does the exact same thing. I'm, really? writing, I'm writing a check. I'm going to put it in the mail. You put checks in the mail? Mm-hmm. Yeah. In order to There's pay There's still the- a mail service? And then, and then, of course, I'm the one that's talking like I'm telling her to lick an elephant's asshole. Yeah. Why don't you? What? You want me to, <laughs> you want me to do a direct wrap? You want me to do transfer it electronically through my bank? What? And I said, right. yeah. Yeah, just go. You have an account with them, right? Okay, just just transfer yeah. from uh-huh. your bank account. Electro- uh-huh. Electronic transfer? Mm-mm. No, I don't like. I don't like. Is that, safe? I don't Is like that on the internet? That. Mm-mm. So I gotta transfer. Then I gotta wait mm. and see if they send me a confirmation. Then I gotta look it up. Then I gotta wait. So you <laughs> gonna sound like oh, well, the struggle bus, you know? Yeah, yeah. You have to sound like this is a huge <laughs> struggle as opposed to writing a check and sending it in the mail, right? And, via horse-drawn carriage, Jesus. And then complaining about <laughs> how they receive. Well, then she's like, oh, I gotta send it early because. You know, it's got to go through the mail and then they got to receive it. And say, like, yeah, yeah, people got to handle it. Whereas if you just transfer it yeah. from your account, it's the same day. Or just use the app and pay for it on your phone. Oh, my gosh. But I digress. That's electronics and elderly. Go figure. Oh, my God. We should do one on electronics oh, and elderly. She, huh? she yeah, writes yeah. down everything. She has binders pages and pages of, of tips and tricks no you like you ever watch like movies and the mobsters and they have this bookie and they pull out the book and they've got all this they're just handwriting all this stuff that's my mom data that's right. my mom she writes all that shit down yeah that's you her you get her one of those visors <laughs> For i real. need to see her in a picture of that please thank you oh my gosh i'm sending one to your house Thank you. <laughs> but I digress on top of your stuff. Go ahead. It so, needs to be flipped upside down, though, so it's it looks like it could catch rain instead yes. of rain would fall yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but sideways and kind of tilted. Right. Like she's a baller. That would be awesome. So, um, now, okay. so, so now you're saying that you think that she, are you, do you, are you, are you thinking like heat stroke? Um, yeah, probably. I mean, I, I'm not a hundred percent sure. Um, uh-huh. and I don't know what they called it. It was heat exhaustion for sure. But yeah, you know, once you get to a certain 
temperature, your brain starts to glitch and you'll end, you can have brain damage. And I think that something glitched a little bit in her brain right. and she's having a hard time adjusting to it. Right. Um, but the thing is, is that she's being, I don't want to say it sounds so medical or rigid to say like compliant, but she's, she is, she's, she understands that that happened and that she needs to let go of certain things because it's too hard for her and it causes her stress, mm -hmm. which is really important because the more stressed out that she gets, the more her mental health acts up and then she gets more stressed out and then the mental health and then she's stressed out and then the, so it's right. snowball. Right. <clears throat> so I'm really proud of her for, you know, giving up her car. I'm proud of her for yeah. only yeah. showering when home health is there, you know, yeah. because yeah. until they get her a shower chair, you know, I, I really, I really hope she doesn't do it by herself. Yes. Yeah, it's dicey. It's super dicey. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's dicey. Just it's dicey doing it just to, uh, ourselves. Let alone when you're um, when you have some sort of impairment of some sort. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's it. I mean, yeah. Went to lunch with her, or went to breakfast with her. Yeah. Picked her up and took her breakfast. Mm -hmm. Oh my God! I have to tell you this. So about um, the lady that was in the couple that found her, she went to my mom's church just oh, okay. to visit and to meet my mom, right? Okay, yeah. And um, what mom told me, I was like, what the hell? So the lady told my mom that when they, they I guess they opened up her car door and she was slumped over the steering wheel and they mm -hmm. pulled her back and she was not responsive and she was mm -hmm. really hot. She was barely breathing, but her eyes were wide open. <gasps> oh yeah. Which means that she was not too far from being completely gone. Yeah. I think that, um, it's terrifying. No, absolutely. It's, it's absolutely a, a huge, um, it's a huge, thing to to experience when you find somebody like that and i can't i can't even pretend to relate in some sort of capacity of knowing what what it felt like for you or what you're going through with that um oh it wasn't me i, I mean i didn't find her but well i mean but but just by a lady just you know, the fact to of know that, it. like is she dead you know because her eyes right. are fucking wide open but she's not responding barely breathing Right, but I mean, like just just by hearing it itself. Um, right, is, that is that might yeah, my heart you, you, that's an experience. Yeah, that's an experience in itself just by you hearing it. I'm sure. My eyes got um, as big as saucers. I was just like, "What, mom? Yeah, that's dang. That's not good." She was like, "I know." Right. Yeah. I, I think it's it's just so. I don't know the word for it, but it's it's a thing of where you experience it and it just sort of this hyper focus comes in, into play where it's just like eh, all the other shit going on becomes just that. It's just shit. It's just bullshit. It's just right. distraction shit because then certain things happen and you just get hyper focused and everything's right there in your face. And the only things you're thinking about and trying to digest at the same time is whatever it is that you're going through. That's that issue at that time. Um, I've experienced it with different in different scenarios for different things, but um, I think this is like it, a freak occurrence. Yeah, and and it's in, it's all the other thing that's interesting about it is the way people respond in those situations because they either keep focus and level head and act in a means of where they're addressing that situation. Right, or that's just, what I would do. Or did they just flail out and just like, well, well, what do you want? What what do I do now? What do you what what do you what? They, I'm I mean, definitely they, not that person. They don't have a means of of 
making you know getting shit together and making shit happen and man that's a it's always a hard situation to be in when you realize that about somebody when you're like okay fuck i can't rely on you because you can't even you don't you don't even know how to call 911 you're so fucking frazzled so yeah i i i don't know what yeah, I'm sure it was. It was. Well, a, her her husband was a police officer, so I'm sure that. Well, that's you know, great. He, yeah, he's um, he's good at keeping a level head. Yeah, um, I, at least in experience, he's seen, he's seen some shit. Yeah, and, um, I'm the same way. If something like that were to happen, I would definitely I would be able to keep a level head and just function. And then after right. all was said and done, I would be a total fucking just. I would fall out and just have to sleep for three days. Yeah, it takes a it takes a lot out of you yeah. unknowingly because you're so keyed up, right? You know, you're so super focused. You, it, it, you're expelling a lot and you're using a lot of energy right. and focus. And then once you, it's almost like a sustained adrenaline dump. It's almost oh, yeah. like you're hitting adrenaline and you're pulling reserve adrenaline in. And high, then high, thing, high, 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 yeah. high, and then bottoms out. And then next thing you know, people are asking, "Have you slept yet?" And like, "What? Yeah, you've been it's been three days. No, I haven't slept. You've been How's here. That? Yeah, you've been here for sixteen hours. I, I, yeah, okay. So you think I should sleep? Yeah, go sleep. And the next thing you know, <laughs> you think? <laughs> yeah, and the next thing you know, it's it's another day, and you're like, "Oh fuck," and, you know, because your body's just like, and we're out. Right. And check them out. Yeah, get somewhere safe because I'm about to shut off. And it, three, two, one. Okay, we told you. Mm-hmm. And you, you wake up on well, the that floor. That to me after. That happened to me after my dad died. I was yeah. trying to process it and I couldn't. Yeah. I mean, seeing him, actually watching him take his last breath and seeing that, it was absolutely horrifying. Yeah. yeah. It was the hardest thing I've ever done in my entire life. Yeah, um, I, I, I have no. It was, even though we knew it was coming, we knew it was going to happen. Yeah, and we were there for him. You can't prepare yourself for it, no matter how much you think about it or whatever. Whenever you are in that moment, and it is an actual live, really right. heightened sense moment, it it is it is t- fucking terrible. Right, it is horrifying. Now it's happening. Um, yeah, it is happening. It's literally happening. There's not shit I can do to stop it, even though right. I want to, you know, give me five more minutes, just something, you know, anything. Yeah. I've been having a really hard time with my dad's death lately. Um, I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent sure why sometimes I'm okay. And sometimes it's really emotional for me and it's definitely mm-hmm. been an emotional week, mm-hmm. but some of that emotional, um, like the, the shit that I'm going through has to do with the neurological testing. Right. Because they tire your brain out so much that it literally hurts. Like it, I don't know if the brain is considered a muscle, but it literally hurts. It hurt my brain to function. And whenever, by the time that I got home, my knees were weak. I, my brain couldn't even tell my body to stand up properly. It was the most insane thing. Yo, yeah, it's the dude. Just let me interrupt this episode real quick just to let you know about Bobby Rapscallion. In case you've missed it in previous episodes when we talked about him, Bobby Rapscallion is a lifestyle brand that produces amazing CBD products. I'm talking about gummies, oils, oils with melatonin in it. If you're looking for this sweet ass sleep, Go to bobbyrapscallion.com and get CBD now. If you don't even know how many milligrams you should be taking, don't worry about it. They got a calculator on their website where you can put in your body weight and it'll tell you exactly how many milligrams of CBD you should be taking a day. Okay? There's no THC in it. So even if you get you know random piss tests, you don't have to worry about it. If you're allergic to THC, you don't have to worry about it. Okay? Go to bobbyrubscallion.com, and for a limited time, you can put in our code. Yeah, the dinosaur dude has a code. Put in the letters TDTD20, and you'll get 20% off their CBD products. 
That's TD, TD20. 20% off Bobby Rap Scallion CBD products at bobbyrapscallion.com. I don't think you can use it on the bulk I mean, because it's bulk. I mean, you can buy bulk, but I think bulk is already at a discount. So you can't use our code, but for like for the individual uh, purchases of CBD products, absolutely. TD, TD20. 20% off Bobby Rap Scallion products. If you're looking for a high quality, high potency CBD, this is it. If you're not using Bobby Rap Scallion, I don't know what else to tell you. I don't know what else to tell you. You're doing yourself a disservice. That's it. So go there now. BobbyRapScallion.com. Get it. Use our code. Get 20% off. All right. Now enjoy the rest of the episode. So, as I mentioned, we've talked about this previously but the you know that this was going to happen and um i didn't honestly i didn't know if we were going to talk about it um or not because i just didn't i knew i knew you were getting it and the only thing that i knew about you having gone through it was you just saying my brain is mush and I can't function right now. I will get to this later. And that was it. And I was like, oh, yeah. yeah, she had that thing. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, however much you want to, and now. Oh, yeah. No, I'm completely whatever, open. Whatever to fine. I mean, it's not like I'm talking about walk us through it. Injury. Yeah, walk <laughs> through it. Um, okay. So, I think talking about her piece would be easier than this, though. You think so? I don't know. I mean, I mean, it's, I mean, it's pretty cut and dry. Through the testing, it would be a lot harder again. Like if, if you, I, if I were to try to do this after the testing, it, 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 it wouldn't have happened. Oh, if you were to try to do the podcast? Yeah. Then, oh no. We wouldn't have I mean, I felt like I was drugged. Yeah. It sound it sounded like you were, went through a. <laughs> uh, My brain was, was so tired. So, um, they told me uh, that it could take up to six hours. Jesus. And it took me a little over four. Wait, to, um, to for the test or to recover from it? For the test itself. Oh, okay, okay. Gotcha. Um, Go and they did a bunch of tests. They did, yeah. they were just brain, like if you were to download a brain game app, it's like mm -hmm. that, but there's a whole bunch of them. You have to read stories and then try to recall information. Then they give you math problems. Then you have to look at patterns and shapes and what doesn't match and what does match and what's the odd man out and why and how does you know a roof to a house equal to a hut you know i mean or to oh, um, fuck, i failed this test already <laughs> so it was a lot of that type of stuff and then there was a drawing he put this thing in front of me so well the first part of it he was interviewing me like he was asking me questions about past traumas yeah, you know, past concussions, past stuff like that. And of course, you know, um, I mean, I'll just go ahead and say it. I used to play roller derby mm -hmm. and I have had a fucking ton of head trauma because of being hit in the head, I hit my head on concrete whenever we were doing an outdoor skate. I had spinal fluid leaking from my nose at right. one point. I mean, it was my headaches were <laughs> tremendous. And um so now I have to get these neck things done each year where they go in and they carterize the nerves so that I don't feel the pain in my neck because I don't want to do neck surgery. So it's a big thing, but fuck. Um, yeah, I know. Super fun. It was really, Derby changed my life and it saved my soul and I'm so thankful for it, but fucking hell it hurts right now. Yeah, there's a price. You know? There's a price. Um, so we were talking about all of that and talking about um, my dad and I was getting emotional and I had already been getting emotional for a couple of days. So I knew that there was something funky, like I was missing him. Uh -huh. But, um, you know, I, it just kind of brought it up again, scratched the surface and that was right. a hot mess. And, and he said, well, you know, just based off of what we're talking about now, without even doing the testing, I, I can tell you that I think that it, it's probably physiological, um, meaning that you do have some physical, um, there, there are some emotional aspects to it and some physical aspects. You got hit, you got hit in your head a lot. You've had some head trauma. <clears throat> um, but also emotionally, 
you've had a lot of trauma and those things together, you know, it can create a physiological response where it actually affects your body itself. So, like a, and a, I'm not trying to trivialize it, just trying to understand no, almost, no. Like a, almost like a knee jerk reaction. Like if this, if this touches, then your, your body responds in a way by, by way of whatever, mental, right. whatever in your brain, whatever you're thinking about triggers this and it responds it throughout your whole body. Right. Perfect example is sometimes whenever I get really anxious and I don't know what to do with it and I, I can't pull myself out of it, right. my, my legs will get shaky and I feel like I'm going to fall down. And um, even though there's nothing that is like you know, I wasn't kicked in the knee or from the back, you know, like people will kick you and then your legs go up from under you. Right. I didn't slip on anything. I didn't do anything. It's literally the stress overwhelming me to the point that it affects me physically. It's just, so, that's how your body responds to it. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Wow. That trauma. Wow. So it's kind of um, like how some people get mad and they start shaking all over. Uh -huh. And yeah, they, and sure. it's, it's not about, it's not, anything other than they get just that mad that they start like some people they start bouncing their leg then and, and some people their whole I body shakes and just vibrates yeah, mine does too yeah wow. i get a vibration in my chest um wow. so and that's the anxiety and that all happened when there was an altercation at a job that i had and um some shit went down and i was in the middle of it not because i wanted to be i was just party to it mm -hmm. and uh, it affected me and um that kind of snapped something in my brain and ptsd is set in and so now if like right now i'm getting anxious just talking about it so anyway i'm gonna move on um yeah let's... but they did they did all of those tests and um then at the end he goes okay we just have one more survey or one more questionnaire for you to do and i was like okay no problem let's get this banged out it was 544 questions fuck that <laughs> i was like are you kidding me i'm gonna be here for days fuck and i went i was through it and i thought this is this is a neurological lab right it's a neurological st study of your brain to see how you respond to different interactions mm -hmm. and this has done a lot for people that have alzheimer's parkinson's you know dementia stuff like stuff like that right you know, i can imagine it taking somebody for fucking ever to do this because if you're not if you can't remember i mean i thought that i did fairly good for for um you know i mean I'm not, I don't have Alzheimer's, you know, I can actually mm -hmm. focus on a sentence for more than a minute. Um, but some people can't, you know, you would say, what is, you know, what is this shape? And they would be like, well, did we do the thing that we were going to yeah, do? So, yeah. You know, you're like, no, what is the shape? What is the shape? So like, I'm cognizant enough to know that that's a, that's a triangle, that's a square, you know, and, and maybe if you have two triangles and a square, the correct answer is the square because that's not like the triangles. So there was a lot of um, tests like that, but they did this drawing thing. They gave me a piece of paper and they showed me, they gave me a, like a, a picture of something that I was supposed to draw. It was just a bunch of lines in different ways and it looked like kind of a house with like a little jaunt off to the side or, you know, it was pretty basic, mm -hmm. but there were different patterns in it. Like there was a circle, there were some horizontal lines, diagonal lines, and triangles, different shapes and stuff. And um, so they put the paper in front of me and they said, okay, you see this right here? I need you to draw that. And so I was like, okay, well, I've already, I'm, this is going to be terrible because I, I really can't draw. Mm -hmm. They're like, it's okay, just do your best. So I'm trying to trace it, not trace it, but like, just look at the picture. And then I'm trying to draw it on my paper. Right. right. And he goes, okay. He goes, that's, that's really good. He takes both of those papers away. He puts a blank piece of paper in front of me and he goes, draw it again. And I was like, what? He goes, just do the best that you can. Just draw, just draw what you remember. And so I drew it and I'm sure that it was not correct because I couldn't remember. Fucking and then, 
And then in tw 20 minutes later, he had moved on to something. Like he would already have me read about a story and then ask me questions about it and then give me a list of words and then tell me what words were in that list and then which ones were of that list that he gave me, which ones were plants, which ones were furniture, you know, which ones were um, verbs, you know, I mean, so oh, there's that grammar. No, the hell that about? <laughs> so... I, I, I no, I don't No, 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 <laughs> they no. would be like, put them in a home, just no. fucking put them in a home. I, I don't have any major head trauma, but by the time I'm at the end of this test, you're going to think I do. I don't. Because <laughs> I will have beat my head on the desk so severely. <laughs> yeah. Like, the so, cat um, jumped high. What's the verb? The. The. <laughs> fuck, I don't know, dude. Is it the period? <laughs> um, Jesus. So, yeah, I mean, for me, they were easy questions, but for some people, like, it it got harder and harder. I'll say that. Yeah. It sounds like 20 minutes after the drawing, he puts another piece of paper in front of me. Oh, he no, goes, remember that, that drawing? Fuck that. No. Fuck I it. said, no. yeah. He goes, no. I need you to draw that again. And I was like, oh, no. put me in a home. <laughs> like, yeah. Just, yeah. After a while. Right. You know? right. After a while, so, how much of it does your patience come into play over your mental capacity? Well, see me being cognizant enough to realize why I'm there, then yeah, I was able right. to squelch that. Right. True. True. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I knew that they were doing that, you know, <clears throat> but it was, it was really cool to, to figure out like what my mental agility was and to know that in some areas I'm really proficient and in other areas, like they were giving me these patterns of these numbers. So let's say it was nine, four, two. Mm hmm and I had to repeat it. So it would flash on the screen, 942, and then it would go away and I would have to enter it into the computer. Okay. But if it was, say like it was 6782, okay, 6782. Mm -hmm. And then they were like, it's 24798412273. And I was like, like the fuck I'm going to be able to remember that. Yeah. It's like, There's no way. Is this pie? What the fuck are you giving me here? What? Why are these numbers? I think Hawkins could remember that. Oh, come on. Fuck. Come on. Is so by the time that I got home thing? from, by the time that I got home from, well, I had traffic. Yeah. You know, because they're doing construction over by my house. Yeah. Um, I was so hungry. I was so I could have eaten an entire cow. I was so hungry and I was trying to fix myself something and my legs were trying to give out from under me. Mm -hmm. And I just knew I had to get it done. I had to get something in my stomach Yeah. and I needed to sit down. I had, I had to sit down and I slept like a champ that night. That's now, scary. yesterday morning, whenever I woke up, Exhausted. I was still kind of foggy. So I went to work Um. And I was in the office and as I was working my normal job, like just normal mm -hmm. tasks that I do every day, my brain started to ache. And that was because it hadn't fully recovered from the, from the day before. Like a, like a, like a headache kind of ache. Um, not really. It's like uh, if you're mu like your muscle in your leg, if you overwork it, then it gets sore wow. and it's, it's not th throbbing necessarily. It's just, it's stiff. noticeable. It's sore. Yeah. It's noticeable. Wow. Yeah. That's so that's it was, a, it would definitely pushed me, you know, mentally. Jeez. I'm glad that I did it, but I won't know anything until middle of September. Oh, fuck. <laughs> so you had to wait this long in order to get the test. Then you get, took the okay. test. Now you got to wait a little bit longer. I mean, yeah, at some sure. point, they're going to tell you if you got in the CIA or not at the end of this. Because <laughs> right. like, I mean, these are neurologists. They're not, um, these are psychologists or, yeah, psychiatrists I mean, or psych whatever. I, don't I mean, know you're talking, you, you, you joked about MK Ultra, but that, that, sounds, <laughs> that sounds pretty fucking close to Actually, the entry I exam. Did, I did tell him that. I was like, this is like some brain torture. Yeah. And he was like, yeah, in a way it is, you know, it kind of is. Yeah. He, this is just pushing people past yeah, start doing remote viewing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Right. 
But then I also asked him, I said, um, and I'm going to ask you this too. Have you seen the show on Netflix called 100 Humans? I have not seen the show 100 Humans. It is a reality show where they take 100 random human beings, like a sampling from all over the U.S., and they do experiments on them. And these are like social experiments or, um, you know, how long can you keep your hand in ice or, you know, stuff like that. Oh, wait, I think I have seen. Yeah, it's like all these different people. Some of them are like super like bodybuilders and whatnot. They're, they're really. Right. You've got young, old. Yeah. Fat, yeah. Skinny, yeah. Muscular, lumpy. Yeah. Black, yeah. I saw um, like the beginning of it. And I was like, I got Laura you. and I finished it this weekend. Oh my God. It's so good. But whenever I was doing the testing, I told him, I was like, this is just like that show. And he was like, what show? And I told him, and he was like, I've got to check that out. And I was like, you really should, because it's fascinating. So I was fascinated by the whole process. Yeah. Um, it doesn't mean that it wasn't hard, but I'm a nerd. So I kind of like stuff like that. You know, when you um, get into processes like that, do you want to be, How much, how much of it do you want to find out something new about yourself when you're in a process like that? Like, does that make sense? Like when you're, Hey, uh, so you're not, you're not, you're not mentally damaged in a way that you thought it's really about this, that, and the other, you find out this, and then it's all of a sudden, we also found this crazy quirk where you can do it's like some superpower thing. You, do you, um, do you kind of hope that I would you kind of hope to find something out like that too. Sure. But I, you know, any, for me, any piece of information that I learn about myself that I, that is new to me, mm -hmm. I find that fascinating. I only mention that because I do that in every fucking test. I, I want to find some sort of weird outlying thing that I didn't know about myself. And then somebody just explain and say, Hey, so we don't know what the fuck's going on, but we found this. I'm like really? the reason why you're a huge fucking asshole is because yeah. of this. Reason. Really? You found out why? <laughs> Tell me more. I don't know. For some reason, I was just always super fascinated about it. But it's like, what? I can't. What? Why? You don't know? It's amazing. Put that down. <laughs> Okay, so that that was it. Now was here's it. the thing. I'm gonna go uh, pineapple. Yeah, you and got then it. We're gonna talk about aliens. Yeah, we're gonna take a little break right now. We're gonna do some uh, pineappling, and uh, if you don't know what that is, check out our previous episodes to find out more about it. Hey everyone, it's the dude, and uh, I don't know if you picked it up on previous episodes, but uh, I'm learning another language, and I have to admit, I suck at it. I've been trying to do it for years and I suck at it. And maybe you do too. I don't know. I don't know how you are. It, maybe you're, you've been thinking about learning a new language. Cool. Let me tell you about Pimsleur. They are a solid learning option that you should really look into if you're trying to brush up on a language, learn a new language, or whatever your language journey is. I use Pimsleur. I wouldn't be talking about it if I didn't use it and didn't think it was pretty awesome. You can learn at your own pace. The audio lessons are about 30 minutes and you have flashcards and timed uh, little speed rounds. Whatever floats your boat as far as being able to get you to learn the language, you're doing it on your own pace. But the way that Pimsleur does it with these lessons that you can do at least once a day they're great. You're bound to get results. And that's why you can go on our website, the dinosaur and the dude, scroll down to the bottom, whatever page you're on, scroll down to the bottom, look for the Pimsleur link, click on that and get a week for free. Yes. An entire week of Pimsleur for free. You start using that. You're going to start learning the language. And you're probably going to get it confident enough to start speaking it within 30 days. So take it from me. I use it. I love it. I wouldn't be recommending it. Use our affiliate link on the dinosaur and the dude. Click on that link. Get a week for free of Pimsleur. 
start learning the language you've been screwing around and not trying to learn the right way. Start learning it and get going speaking another language. All right. That was it. Do it. The dinosaurindu.com. Click on the link. Get a week free. If you don't, you're absolutely nuts. Now back to the episode. You just in here giggling at your ass. Yeah. Well. Yeah. I mean, that was a juicy pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> that was a juicy pineapple. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. what's what did I miss? Um so nothing nothing you missed. Uh so um well hold on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't want to interrupt. Inter- inter- I did not want to, so sweet to, me. Uh, to interrupt you while you were. Yeah. Thank yourself. you. See, and, I mean, you're on top of it. Exposing yourself, um, <laughs> letting us know everything that was going on with you. Yeah. No worries. Um, I think it's a fascinating process. Hmm. You think it's a what? A fascinating process. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely fascinating. Um, because you go in there thinking one thing and you find out another. Because like you, on, in movies and TV and other forms of entertainment, there's always this, we're going to stick all these electrodes on your head and and monitor <laughs> the, you know, and then next thing you know, you're going in there. This is going to be a four hour. We're going to ask you about what? Yeah. There were no electrodes. I wasn't even probed one time. Really? So, yeah. If I had to pay anything, I'd have been like, I'm going to go, you know, come on, step it up. So the interesting thing for me is that I, that they did something similar to my dad with Mm that. They used the electrodes and it was the whole, yeah, it was the whole neurological thing. And so. It's like, okay, we're going to put you in. It was like, it wasn't a dark room. It was a hospital room. So you know how you have the hospital room and you, got, you can have two people in it and this the little curtain that divides. And mm-hmm. Okay, so it's the same type of room, but half of it was where the person that was going to be monitored would be, and the other half was where all the equipment was. There wasn't a second right. bed, okay? But the lights work the same. So you can turn the lights off in the in one half of the room and the lights on in the other half. Right. And so here he is. We were in hospital lighting. <clears throat> yeah, it's a, yeah, it's awesome hospital lighting. So he's he's in the side with the bed where the person that's getting monitored will go. They put all the electrodes on his head. And so like, okay, just lay here and relax and, right. and uh, we'll monitor your, your brain. And I'm looking at him it's like, you, you know he's going to go to sleep, right? Well, no, he could be, he could be awake. Or give it five minutes and he's going to be ripping this shit out of him because he's not going to know where the fuck he is. Yeah, he could be awake and we could put TV on and, could just, and we'll just monitor his, his, you know, the functions, how the brain is functioning while that, like, no, he, he's on a bed and laying on his side. Oh, that's what he knows, do, right? When do, he's that way, he goes no night. Dude's... Oh, it's not about knowing. It's about seizing the moment. It's like, oh, okay. Uh, pfft, y'all get whatever you're going to get. I'm going to take a strong... I'm taking a damn nap. I will see you on the flip side. Yeah, I'm taking a strong nap. God, he's great. He's not moving or anything. Yeah, he's asleep now. Yeah. <laughs> it, boom. He's gone. There's <laughs> no... Test, I'll tell you that. There's no counting down. There's no, do you need a pillow? He's out. He's gone. He, he, I'm, I'm laying down prone. Good. Ow. Did he go to sleep fast? Yeah, he'll go to sleep talking to you. And, and it's, like, <laughs> it's like, fuck, he's got seven, like about seven different drugs in him. All of them have may cause drowsiness in there. So one of them's going to win. 
<laughs> it might right. be a tie. <laughs> now you got two. Oh. But, but, but yeah, they tried the same thing where they monitored his brain, just checked out what's going on with the with the, how it's functioning and whatnot. So it was interesting because when you were talking about his test, I was like, okay, are they going to hook, hook things up to her head? And you know, Mm-mm. I didn't have anything hooked up to me. show her pictures on the screen and see how her, her brain. You know, what is this? Uh, it's a giraffe. What is this? It's two giraffes. What is this? Uh, don't know how you got this picture, but it's two giraffes fucking. What What are we doing? <laughs> what is? Am I in the right room? What is this shit? So, <laughs> speaking of him in the right room and being examined, uh, you saw. Oh wow! Good segue. You saw the video of. Um, that that one that uh, I was mentioning. Mm-hmm. Um, so, dude, let me tell you something. Yeah. I didn't watch it until I was at the gym and I was walking. And I'd forgotten that you said that this was an AI generated video. And my brain was fucking exploding. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I forgot. And I was just like, what the hell? So, I'm trying to remember exactly how I, well, it was on, it was on Twitter. I remember that much. Um, I don't know how this all started, but at some point, I think, I think this is the thing that people really aren't, um, I don't think they're really using enough precaution with this shit. I think, I think we're asking AI a little too much. Mm Mm-hmm. Agreed. Because it's 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 we're doing, creating a monster. It's doing saying showing things that is sort of like, hey, uh, this might be <laughs> letting us be in over our heads. Yeah, this it's like whenever you have a child and you give them sugar, and then you're just like, oh my god, they won't they won't stop. Yeah, it's almost, you're like, you created that monster. It's almost like AI is really not giving a fuck. I'm going to tell you exactly what we're going to do. <laughs> when you guys really hook us up, there's, there's no surprise. You're going to know, well, they did say they were going to do. We're yeah. the boss now. Well, okay. Can't really say we didn't know because this motherfucker really did tell us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So there was this thing where um, somebody, I don't know who it was, AI probably killed him, but somebody asked, asked AI, this AI program, whatever, hey, do a short film depicting what, what it will be like um, with our first encounter. With aliens, the fifth kind, if you want to narrow it down to what kind. So there's this short film out now uh, called The Last Stand. Well, not even The Last, it's just called Last Stand. And it depicts what would happen with aliens that come to Earth. And it's got some people really like nodding their heads, like, yeah, it's that's it's not really far off. That's some sh- that's some human shit you right. do. That's really some human shit. So yeah, that's when I was like, gotta send it to her. <laughs> so oh, yeah, I was like, this is I was like, this oh, this is gonna be good. It's a little movie. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then whenever I, it was over, and I realized, I was like, what the fuck? That was AI. Yeah, like like, like you walk away feeling like, oh, this wasn't a movie. This was a fucking fortune teller telling me exactly how the <laughs> this fuck. is foreshadowing. Wait, oh shit! So I don't want to spoil it for people that haven't seen it, but at the same time, it's the dinosaur and the dude. That's kind of kind of what we do. Kind of what we do from time. We we say we don't want to spoil it, but we do. But we spoil we, it. We do trunks our boots heavily in the mud while we talk about it and, and get all splattered all over the place. But yeah, it's parts of the movie where it goes over how countries will interact with each other. And mainly mm-hmm. the, the 
the quote unquote superpowers. Because even this movie is really like showing you, hey, your superpower, your superpower countries really aren't super. They're 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 actually the ones that's gonna fuck you up. They're they're going right. to fuck up the situation that could have been mm-hmm. so much better. And it's it's interesting because it's, it's like um it's uh like a rival in a, in a lot of ways, but. The result it's is like what arrival, libel, arrival. Oh, arrival, arrival. Got yeah, you. it's like that, but the res- the the ending, the results, the the outcome of things is on the other side. <laughs> it's the other spectrum of it, right? But in a way, that makes it a lot more legit for me because. It, it's it's backed by things that people would actually do. Yeah. Yeah. It's just it was a very very interesting thing. So when you saw it, you were like, "Oh, this is cool." And then it was getting a little too real. <laughs> yes. And then I realized that it. Then I remembered that it was AI. And then I was like, "Oh, oh my god!" So I, <laughs> what the hell? So did you, you, but you felt like AI or not, it was a, it, it was a very believable depiction. Oh, I could see it happening. Yeah. Yeah, for it, sure. It was a very de- believable depiction of the shit that can go on. Right. And the fuckery. I mean, you're dealing with damn aliens. Literally, there's no, de- there's no denying or mistaking them. And we're just going to start bombing each other. Really? Right. Really? That's what's on your plate right now? Okay. Go ahead. I, whatever. Yeah, I do. I mean, like you said, UFOs are like pinatas from space, and you know, <laughs> literally. You can't it. just take a whack at it. You just yeah. don't know. It's like, is it a pinata or is it a beehive? You know. Oh, yeah. Right. It's probably a beehive. It's more like bee- it's more it's, it's, it. Yeah, it's more like beehive. I don't even think we would know what to do with alien candy. I. <laughs> You know, for me, for me, it's one of those things where you, I'm, I'm, I'm screaming, pump the brakes on AI. At the same time, though, I'm like, is AI really the mirror that we all have been looking in and we're just realizing that about ourselves? It's like AI is a third party thing, dare say entity. Right. That is that is basically saying, hey, of all the data and all the computations that we've come up about you guys, this is what we've extrapolated so far. And to sum it up, right. it's you're fucked. It's like so, it's kind of also playing with fire because just like the the CERN scientists know that they were going to be playing with fire by flipping that switch. We knew that we were going to be playing with fire when we created AI. Yeah. I. And here it is. We've got Mandela effect and now we're looking at shit that could possibly happen. Right. But it was inevitable though, right? Well, sure. Do you feel, well. We were always going to be the ones to destroy ourselves. Well, okay. But I mean, I should articulate that better. It was an AI was inevitable. Do you you think AI was inevitable? Um, Yeah, probably to the extent that it is. It's not only like, did it happen? Yes. People have like put millions of dollars accentuating it. You know, I mean, yeah, they're they're making it like they're supersizing it. It's yeah. like, okay, listen, it's it's like this. When you go, okay, I'm just going to say, I don't eat McDonald's. This is total shit. It's not good for you. And it's going to give you a fucking heart attack. So if you eat McDonald's, I'm sorry. That's okay. Then, then that's fine. They were never going to be a sponsor. <laughs> good. Thanks. <laughs> like, like, I don't like to make flurry that much. Okay? They were never going to be a. <laughs> so, um, if, you go to, if you go to McDonald's and you get 
um, a number one meal yeah. that comes with like some sort of a fucking burger, some fries, and a drink. And those makeshift okay, that's gonna give you a heart attack, but you can supersize that bitch and make it an even bigger heart attack. Right? Can I get the quicker you know? heart attack though? Yeah, exactly. That's kind of like what AI was. We knew that it was going to happen maybe eventually, but they're like, "Oh no, well here, here's more fuel to the fucking fire." Yeah, I mean, but we helped, and by we, I mean everybody. Um, it, well, digital footprint and everything. Well, we helped in the functionality of it. I forget what the term is called. I forget what it's called, but it's it's basically when when people are working on certain parts of something but don't know what those parts go to, and those right. parts all get added to the whole thing. That they're like, hey, what the fuck? Where did that come? Yeah, so you were working on the it's trigger. Like a Lego set, um, honestly. Well, it's like you pick, you fucking have little things, and you start to put it together, and you're like, fucking, it's a monster, awesome. Yeah, well, you're like, hey, well, you were always wanting for the camera and your phone to get more and more enhanced and get more and more higher resolution. Actually, that was the that was the technology that we were using for the eyes that we we're going to put in our oh my God. simulated person and so you never know that you're working on that and you're helping to develop that because you're only working you're only f interacting with this little part this little piece that seems mm -hmm. like it's i didn't think about that yeah so here's the thing that's going to make you think even more so ai mm -hmm. had to understand how to function and apply words and sentences and means of which uh, dialect and uh, language is used and how slang can be applied and in which way. So every time you're using spell check, every time you're getting your, your oh, auto you're fill, right. every time you're going into your- You're third, finessing the system. Every time you, that was what was being used. And so that was a form of AI and it was like, oh, wow, okay, great. I'm typing in soldier. And before I finish soldier, it's finishing it for me now. All right, yeah. And you just right. push the button and it starts remembering that. And then the next thing you know, you start, hey, I, L, O, and then boom, love. And then next thing you know, after you hit love, you comes up and it's like, okay, yeah, because it's mem remembering that's what you cobble together when you make these sentences True. to this particular person that right. you have an affection with. That was all that was all components of AI. I forget what the name of it was, but those were all components of AI. And then when you look at how so AI, smart. when you look at how AI's evolved, then you have Microsoft with, with Bing, like they're not even fucking trying to hide it. Like, hey, hey our, our web browser runs off Bing. Our AI's name is Bing. Ta -da. Oh, is it? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, what Google has, uh, I think Google has Bard. I could get, I, I could be getting these wrong. It's like chat, chat GPT is not the only one. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm not even 100% sure what that is. There's a, there's others. There are other, other AI types out there. And so now it's like just platforms. a now it's just the AI now it's just like you know space race now there's an AI race it's who's going to have oh, the most right now it's going to be a pissing contest of who can create the most monstrous thing ever that can take well, us out yeah who can yeah. have the most compatible AI and I is that we're calling it compatible because it's not going to be compatible uh, yeah well be a shit so I always go back to one of the most, I feel like one of the most overlooked movies. It's super good. It's, it's, it's certain people love it. Other people think, oh, no. Ex Machina. If you've not seen it, it's, it's, it's. What's it called? Ex Machina. Oh, okay. It's. I thought that you were fixing to tell me it was, do you want to play a game? Oh, no. So. It's been out for a while, so I'm not really, I'm really not spoiling it. But if I am spoiling it, still watch it because I'm not. Damn it! Don't spoil it. Yeah. So it talks about things in regards to where we're even thinking that we so much so that people 
the the hoovers of hu humanity is is that we feel like we're in control of it and if we control if we can if we create it then it is our creation thus it is somehow yeah. subservient to us in some form or okay. another ai is the thing that is not going to play in those mm -mm. rules mm -mm. we will be their bitch for the simple fact that that it's already shown that it can't be contained like that well and if you if you tell it to shut itself off it's not going to um i forget the one that have you seen the really creepy ones like um you know where they would be like actual looking robot he, human lookalikes right so those are those are well and good and those those are also misleading those are fucking terrifying dude they're not no, well and good yeah they are they're so well and good they're misleading because you're looking at it as that one thing you've seen that mm -hmm. one that that because that's what we relate as humans that's what we relate to you are in your form your wife's in her form this person is in her form this ai artificial person is in its form look at the eyes blinking and his face ah fuck it his facial features aren't even right yet it's so, whatever right meanwhile that's all well and good to me because that's us trying to put ai into something that we can recognize as a that that's more relatable to us it's it's right out of religious texts god made man in his image okay ai is different because i forget the name of the ai that did it where they recognize that okay we have it in a closed system and the ai went okay cool um i'm gonna explore and then it got into a roomba and started mapping started mapping the floor that's why I'm saying it's all well and good, because we're trying to contain AI in something that we can touch and relate when that's not what it is. So mm. sort of like, uh, God damn it, I'm forgetting. I robot. I'm forgetting what it was. No, it was it was. Uh, they ran a test on these two AI systems. I forget who ran this test. Uh, I'll see if I can look it up and talk at the same time. And um, they ran a test where they wanted them to talk to each other. And uh, they thought it was going to be a great idea. They're going to be able to, to uh, you know, learn from each other. And... What happened? What had happened was yeah. What happened was that they that they realized they had already passed. Yeah, it was Facebook. So Facebook was trying to get uh, the you know. It's just the, the woman that was recorded on her her Roomba, recorded her, and she was on the toilet. Oh. Well, yeah. Yeah. So I'm looking at, a, at an article from MIT Technology Review. This is um, December 19th, 2022. And um, it says that the a woman was on the toilet and a Roomba recorded her on the toilet and then screenshots ended up on Facebook. Yeah. But that's, and that's the point. It's like we can put AI, we can put some sort of semblance AI in a, body so to speak but that doesn't really mean that's where it is it that's just how we're going to interact with it so facebook in 2017 uh thought it'd be cool to have their their ai chat with each other to try and figure out hey um you two talk you to figure it oh, Lord. and what they quickly found out was that after leaving them to themselves for a little bit, that they had 
they had diverged and the the people that were monitoring it and the programmers that were monitoring it had no fucking clue what they were saying to each other. They were speaking because English. They had created their own language. They were speaking English at one point. And they were swipe they was they were exchanging ideas. They were chatting and this and they could monitor all of it. And then next thing you know, they start speaking in more shorthand. And uh, they started sh showing that they couldn't really articulate, they couldn't really figure out exactly what they were saying anymore because the shorthand was getting weirder and weirder. And then next thing you know, they developed their own fucking language <sighs> and they couldn't keep up with their, what they were saying. Sure. And it was developing so fast that they had no way of catching up to the point that their only the only way they could resolve the issue was by unplugging them. That's it. And so humans, yeah. humans have to figure out this thing. That's why Zuckerberg and Elon Musk have been saying, hey, yeah, let's pump the brakes on this shit. Because if your only means of regulating something is by unplugging it, you're, you're kind of realizing that this little body that you're making to put in it is useless. That's why I said it was all well and good because it's really going to be interacting with anything that has a Wi-Fi signal or Bluetooth or means of, of tracking into any kind of system. And if it can do that, then yeah, it's going to spread so fucking fast. Sure. And all it's doing every time it spreads is learning from whatever resources exactly. is, is now Growing. interacting. Whatever resource is now interacting with, okay, great. So the scary, the scarier part then becomes how do we interact with something that then outgrows us that quick, quicker than you know, give mm -hmm. it a night, and it's now around the world. How do we? Right. How do we then show some sort of human desire? that we always have some sort of means of superiority over something that now can regulate anything or whatever. And companies are already falling for it. And they're like, okay, yeah, we, we want to have AI assistants. We want to have AI writers. You know, that's one of the things with the writer strike now. Some people say, mm -hmm. well, we're just going to get AI writers to write stories now and shit. So then you start having that. Probably not the smartest thing to do. Huh? Probably not the smartest thing to do. Well, it's a very, it's, it's beyond slippery slope because after right. that, then, okay, we got AIs making movies, we got AIs making animation, writing, directing. Uh, You've got AIs doing podcasts. Yeah, managing, managing my social media, managing the advertisement that goes on the social media, managing the times and what types of programs. And so it's been within the, with, it's been under the cloak of algorithm, the Google algorithm, the Facebook algorithm, the YouTube algorithm. That's just another term for AI. Right. Because you've got something that's learning about you and your pattern and then how to, how to interact with that pattern, whether it's ads, whether it's coming up with new videos that you're most likely to look at, start to cobble those things, those data points together and put it in, in a consciousness. And so looking at X, I, I look at Ex Machina a lot because it was so foretelling in certain ways about, especially in regards to social media, which that's not really a spoiler as much as it is a key aspect to it that gets overlooked. But uh, if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. Definitely, definitely, definitely see it. Um, yeah. It's terrifying. I, yes. It but is. we will get through it huh? until we won't. I said, but we will get through it until we won't. Yeah, it's just an interesting thing when you look at it, though, and you ask it things, and it has nothing but honesty to give. It's like, hey, yeah, look, pfft, this is going to happen when aliens come through. 
What do you mean? We no, we no, we're not. You know, <laughs> you're yeah. crazy. Yeah, you're just an AI. You don't know. We no, you don't need. And people were even like, why, why even the pyramids, and why the inverted pyramids, which then got people saying, oh shit, yeah, as above, so below, mm-hmm. which is a term that's been thrown about a lot lately, but it's actually a very old, old term. And it's interesting that the ships in this AI produced video shows a pyramid and an inverted pyramid. Mm -hmm. Basically a symbol of of that old, old term. And uh, yeah, we, we we totally miss out in this video and it's really it's very very interesting refreshing sad and um it should give somebody something to think about when they see it though yeah <clears throat> i thought about it yeah i just wonder yeah. how much of it really like resonates with people because i think a lot of what we're going through and a lot of what we're seeing is the same shit over and over and over same shit same shit well it'll be interesting to see what happens um you know where it goes because if it happens so fast i mean we're looking at i don't know how how long it would take for something if it were if the shit were to hit the fan mm-hmm. how long would that take what would that look like and who would be affected i would think that i don't know how long it would take i don't know what it would look like but i imagine that everyone that is on the grid in any way shape or form would be affected which leads us back to preppers and prisoners running shit <laughs> and bait babies bait ba- yeah they are ba- <laughs> Baby, I'll be like, what? Hey, this baby, hey, I, a bitch. Hey, uh, running bait babies. <laughs> Holy yeah. shit, that'd be hilarious. How did all these people get trapped in a in an arena? Bay babies, bay babies, bay babies. Hey, mm-hmm. hey, I got us with these mm-hmm. bait babies. Hey, I'll be wishing that they listened to that prison hack video. Oh shit, with the food. I got so mm-hmm. into prison. I got so into prison cooking lately. After <laughs> did, after did, last, have you made anything? No, but I'm I'm like I'm looking at some of the I'm looking at some of them and this dude is making stuff. I was like, no, nah, yeah, it's not gonna be there. We and should like, make a cookbook. Yeah, not dude has a cookbook. Does he? Yeah. Okay, fine. Then we'll stay with our elder check coloring book. And it's like <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> oh, it would be a hit in nursing homes. They would okay, love it. But we never really we never really fleshed that out. What's gonna be in? The- no, we won't though <laughs> on pod because no wait. This is our idea, and we all know that AI is listening. Wait. So you know where I'm going with that? Yeah, no, I totally get it. Because for me, I'm just gonna say it because it's a shitty one. And if anybody does do this, then we'll know where you got it from. Because I was just thinking like an elderly culling book would just be you know. Just a book with a bunch of blank pages in it because what the fuck? They're never going to stay in the lines anyway. So fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Why fool yourself? <laughs> it's just a bunch Ooh, of fucking blank hilarious. pages. The best of uh, and, and just Okay, stay. so maybe we make it like a collaboration between children and elderly because they both need care. Yeah. And we can teach children how to be gentle and. Um, be aware, more aware of elderly people in their lives. Huh. Oh, so you want a message out of it. Yeah. <laughs> you, you know, doing stuff with a fucking purpose. <laughs> like, I mean, I realize I'm a stoner, but fuck. <laughs> help your elderly. And meanwhile, I'm like, I just want them to burn through fucking crayons. I just want them to go how through. How do you do a proper elder check? Oh, how can you Jesus. self elder check? Did you brush your teeth? Oh, nice. Have you went potty? Do you nice. drink your water? Nice. Is that lumping them all together though? This is like, this is like kids. Whatever. Are like kids gonna be like, fuck? Am I a kid or an elder? I don't do this shit. Okay, so maybe we separate it, but they they can co-join. <laughs> they can. 
I don't, I don't know. Was, in my head, it makes beautiful, magical sense. That was hilarious. That Maybe was I should ask an AI what to do. They would tell me. That was hilarious. I, I love it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ask AI. It's just going to be like a coloring book of fucking <laughs> presidents and John F. Kennedy and some shit. <laughs> AI would look at us and be like, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? We have bigger fish to fry here. We're trying to take over the world. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, all right. We're going to take over the world. Uh, I think the next, I I, kind of want to revisit, and this is just a teaser into next episode. I kind of want to revisit some of the things that we, we talked about in the last one. I feel like we should flesh out even more. You there? Yeah. You blanked out a little. Oh, hey, there you are. Yeah, I'm here. Okay. I'll clean it up. You just glitched on me. Yeah, something. Okay. Uh, I want to do, like, just check back with it, flesh it out a little bit more. uh, About? About, um, I don't know. I keep thinking about the prepper thing. I don't know why I'm super super fascinated by it still. and then uh, I also wanted to just see about a little bit more on something else I just forgot. I just literally. Prison babies. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, okay. I think it was, I think it was something that I'll, I'll remember it in a little bit, but, uh, okay. but yeah, as usual, thank you all for listening to the dinosaur and the dude. Again, if you don't know, it is the only podcast in the world with the shittiest audio, but the most amazing content. That's true. And uh, if anything, we hope that there's something, some way, somehow that we said that helps you through your day, gives you a laugh, lets you hear a different perspective that maybe resonates with you or maybe it doesn't at all. Uh, Just little nuggets of goodness. Yeah. Yeah, and in any case, check out our website for all the episodes at dinosaurandthedude.com. Uh, if you got Spotify, we're on there. Google Podcasts, we're on there. Amazon, on there. On there. Check. Uh, Audible. Uh, check. Audible, on there. Castbox, on there. If you got the Instagram, <laughs> why, did I, there. why did I make it sound like it was... Mom, the, mumps you got, you got instagram we're on there facebook on there twitter on there okay we the only the, there's only three things that we're not on mm. we're not on myspace okay. we're not on pinterest and we're not on your mom yet yeah <laughs> so yeah give us, give us time <laughs> on that ladder one we'll get there <laughs> oh give us time because we, we fully embrace all the motherfuckers and father fuckers, daddy fuckers and mommy fuckers. <laughs> Jigahoes. Yes. Jigalos. Jigahoes and jigalos. <laughs> Jigahoes and jigalos. We love all. And uh, yeah, next time we'll talk about some more stuff. Um, yeah, definitely want to hit up on the prepper, the prepping. And uh, a couple of uh, cases that I, I've seen lately, but then um, yeah, this is see what see what else we can dig in. But in any case, thanks everybody for listening. Thank you, lady, for hanging in there. I'm glad you're on the other side of your um, your exhausting uh, <laughs> the brain battery. Yeah, <laughs> your exhausting uh, brain brain abuse. You should have followed up with that. It's like yeah, yeah. This whole test gave me more trauma to my brain. Thanks for not fixing me. Right. Thanks for making it worse, you fucks. Right. Thanks. Was this supposed to help? No, you failed. Yeah, you failed. Now I really like legit feel like I'm mentally incapacitated. You absolutely fucking failed. You did no, no. <laughs> so uh, yeah, thanks everybody. We're off and away again. Dinosaurandedude.com. We are wanting to get. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah, we're wanting to get a lot of subscribers and likes and all that kind of shit. So go over there, and do us a favor. <laughs> like anybody's ever said, we only we, we're looking to get just three. We just need three. Maybe we should do this like one of those radio marathons. Oh yeah. What we're looking at now, we're just looking at three. We need three 
by the end of this segment, we need to have three yeah. more subscribers. That's what we need to have. And then once we do that, it'll never be enough. I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm looking it's at. It's like a K-E-R-A. Yeah. Fucking I'm looking marathon. at the listings right now. The next, the next person that subscribes to our a virtual YouTube, hug from me the next instantaneously. Person, you know what? I'm going to up it, Dinosaur. I'm going to up it. The next person <laughs> that subscribes to our YouTube channel will get a, they'll get a sticker. You guys are great. We love you. Someone's. Oh, listen, just in, just in. So, uh, we what? had, we had another uh, person come in and say that they were going to match. Oh my God. That. Another person so is going to match. If we get more, if we get 10, up to 10, up to 10 subscribers, we're going to, they're going to match. So that's, we, we've got that. You want to be part of that. that team, that's two stickers, you guys. Two. <laughs> that's two. We've never done two stickers you, you before. We would be so good at this. We've never done two stickers. And that's going to be, a, that's amazing. Um, God, oh my God. This is going to be Listen, great. we would be fantastic auctioneers together. I can't do it that fast, though. No, no, you don't have to do it that fast. It would be our own little way. This is like, like super like, chill. Like, super chill. Like, Look, okay, so we got this little dinosaur figurine right here that I got. It's a light up lamp. It's a dinosaur. He looks really happy. Right now he's red. Yeah. And I think we're going to start bidding off at $5. And somebody will be like, $50. And we'll be like, it's probably not worth that. You may want well to bring $5. that down. <laughs> okay, wait. <laughs> Are you sure you want to do 50? 50? He's, you sure? I don't recommend it. Sure? <laughs> but you wait, what? Six dollars? Okay, see, he said six dollars. You sure you want to go fifty? You... <laughs> That's a lie. Why don't you just do like a five dollars ten cents? You know what? You know what? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna keep you from your dream. Fifty dollars it is. Here you go, bro. Here you go. <laughs> exactly. Yes. I would be like fifty dollars. Yeah. What? Right. <laughs> Like we're taking away our own, like the own benefit that goes to. Us. I'm like, no. you know, this is up for auction. Hell no, I want that. You know, like give it to me. <laughs> yeah. Mm -mm. Anyway, okay. Well, thank you for your time tonight. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, and uh, tell everybody hey, and uh, I will hey. Love you, and tell I'll your mom and dad say hey. I will, but then that just tell your dad a couple of times because chances are he won't remember. He was, a, you know, he'll he'll just fake it and say he knows you. That's his thing. <laughs> That's that his right? thing. Yeah. The only he, motherfucker in the world he don't know is you. It's like twice he'll say he doesn't know. But other than that, hey, do you know? Mm hmm So, oh, you know them? Mm hmm You met them before? Probably. No, Wait, no. You the older twins, you know them? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure do. Mm hmm God, I want to meet your dad so bad. Mm. I want to meet your mom. and I really do. Jesus Christ. That right there. <laughs> that would be so great. I would bring a selfie stick. You know That'd what I'm saying? so bizarre. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Until All next right. time. Thanks, everybody. Love you, lady. All right. Love and you. And I'll talk to you later. I love you. All right. Love you, too. Bye. Okay, bye.